Hey guys, I am here today with my 10 cards, one collection using the Doodlebug Love Notes collection. I quickly show you what's in the collection. I have done an unboxing, which I'll link, or not an unboxing, but a crafty haul, which I'll link above. I did purchase these items from the Not Too Shabby Shop. So I will be linking Jamie's shop, but also scrapbook.com in the event she is sold out of some elements. And you can always click those links to get a better view since I go through these pretty quickly so I don't have the video too long. Starting with card one, in order for these videos to be a little bit more manageable for me and for you, the viewer, I um, go ahead and cut everything down and kind of get everything ready, do my layout, and then when it's time to film, I just basically put everything together. So this doily you see is actually from... Uh, I don't even know where it's from. It's from Stampin' Up, but it came, it was part of like a, I don't even know. I don't even want to guess because it's probably not right, but it's no longer available. This video was a video where I brought a lot from my stash to use it up because I'm just holding on to it and I'm tired of looking at it, <laughs> but yet I'm not tired enough to de-stash it. So you can get doilies at Michael's. You probably have doilies. Use what you have. Um, and I thought the doily added a nice touch and the color was perfect. These collections always come with uh, enamel dots. And I typically always buy the enamel dots. But when I bought this one, I said, not this time. Because I have two big old cases of enamel dots. So all the enamel dots that I use on 9 of the 10 cards are from my stash. I was just pulling, coordinating colors, and it, it matched perfectly. So there's card one. For card two, um, by the way, all my cards, if you don't know, I'm sure you do, but just in case somebody's new, they're A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter, once scored and folded. You can get two cards out of an eight and a half by 11 sheet. You just cut it in half and then score them in half, and that works that way. I had a comment saying, why is A2 size the standard size? No idea. <laughs> but um, I, I, might, I would be safe to guess, and maybe you know, so if you do, tell me. But uh, it's just, well, that's the size in the United States, I guess. I don't know who made that standard. I have no clue the history behind it. But um, I like it because it's you can get two cards out of an 8.5 by 11 sheet. There's no waste. Um my assumption is that's kind of what it's based off of, but I have no clue. Um, some people don't like them that small, which I get because they are small compared to like the ones you can buy at the store. Um, I, I don't know how big the ones are at the store, but they're quite large, some of them. But I used to get at Hobby Lobby, I used to get the pre-made card bases and I would get two different sizes. I think, I don't want to say it's five by seven. I think it was five by seven. And then the other one was like four by six or something. It was smaller than A2 size. I don't remember. Anyway, it wasn't four by six because that was that would be larger. Anyway, I don't know where the standard size comes from, but like I said, I like it because it's just two, you get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. So moving on, um, this card was really cute. They had all these kind of film and movie type print with the little movie tickets and then the little wheel viewfinder wheel so I was like I want to use this somehow and I just added this large sweet ephemera piece it, it map well, all the colors go perfectly with the background paper I'm gonna go ahead and add a glue dot to the movie tickets and attach those. Sorry this video is late. If you watched my plan with me, you'd realize all my plans um, are not happening on time like usual. It's just work. If I wasn't working, <laughs> can I get about a hundred more subscribers, a hundred thousand more subscribers and a hundred thousand more views per video and I could do this for a living. <laughs> But work just gets in the way, and there are so many things that have been dumped on us at work 
I come home and I'm like beat. Usually I come home and I have to keep working because I just can't. There's no time in the day to finish everything I need to finish. So it's been rough since going back after Christmas. So unfortunately, as well as wishful as I'm thinking, it's plans just don't happen. But only four more months of school and then I'll have a couple months off just to start over again. But it'll be okay. I just, like right now, my throat is killing me. I pray I'm not getting sick. I've been pretty lucky. But I had a, a girl last week. She left early, a student. She had strep throat. So usually when I get sick, like I'll get bronchitis or the flu or something, not necessarily the flu, but bronchitis, it always starts with a sore throat. And I've been feeling okay. It's just my throat hurts. But now I feel like my head is getting stopped up. So I'm like chugging all this medicine hoping to catch it in time I don't know anyway I have had this video filmed for a few days and I finally am making myself do the voiceover so I can post it for you guys before Valentine's if you're interested in getting any of these things uh, on this card I did use another doily a different one these doilies I got at Michael's they come in all these different colors you can purchase the colors separately and here this enamel dot sheet is from Stampin' Up and the green went perfect with the little floral pieces. So for this card, I don't know if this is the first card because I'm too busy yapping. Um, this card base is actually from, as well, a Stampin' Up! card kit, or not card kit, but cards and envelopes that I got. It was a part of their celebration, I think, last year. So you make a certain purchase amount, and then you could choose something for free, and I chose these. Well, I still have some, so I'm like, I must use these up. I'm tired of looking at them and trying to put them somewhere in my drawer. So th this one is one of them, and then no, that's the same one. There's a yellow one that'll be on, I think, card seven. Um, that come with the pattern. So it worked perfectly because the colors coordinated and I was able to use them up and they have coordinating envelopes. So I was very happy to get rid of them. I love getting rid of stuff, like using it up. Does anyone else feel that way? Especially craft supplies. And especially since I keep buying more and to not buy it, like I didn't buy the enamel dots and then use what you have get really good satisfaction out of that. <laughs> and most of these, like this one, they're all doodlebug sprinkles, whatever you call them. Uh, is it called sprinkles or just enamel dots? But anyway, they're all doodlebug, uh, with the exception of a couple, but most of them are doodlebug. So I had to find a way to incorporate this washi tape. It's so cute. Um, I think there's probably a lot of ideas you can come up with on how to incorporate it. i I kept it fairly simple. I think this may be the only card I use it in, but it is so cute. And it tears right at the perforated area really easily. So really sweet. I really did enjoy working with this collection. Um, I know I keep saying it, but a lot of times when I do these 10 card videos, I look to Pinterest for inspiration just to kind of get layout ideas. Layout ideas are my biggest thing. And this one, I just, once I got going, it all came easy. So I love when that happens and I don't have to uh, struggle because it's no fun to make cards if you're struggling to come up with a layout. And I'm, I think I'm becoming more comfortable with layering because I see it when I, you know, try to look for inspiration I see it so much and I'm like this looks perfect and then when I do it I'm like does this look okay but I'm just going with the flow and just doing it and usually when I do it it all turns out nicely and I really like it so if you are afraid of ephemera or pattern paper just slap that stuff on a card base and I bet it will look beautiful <laughs> If you're like me, if you think too much, you're going to talk yourself out of it. So just do it. It's just a card after all. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, who cares? <laughs> all right. For card eight, I'm going to attach these two pieces of pattern paper. Um, I'm just using various dyes in my stash. I believe this is a Lawn Fawn scallop dye. If you have any questions about the like particular dyes, just let me know and what card it was. 
I typically don't, I typically only link like with this, the Judabug collection, I won't link the dyes I use because I don't have labels for my dyes and sometimes I don't remember where they came from. And I just realized watching this card, I did that scallop, but then I completely covered it with the flowers. So that was kind of pointless, but oh well. Those flower ephemera pieces are quite large, so it was kind of tricky fitting two on there where they didn't hang off. I'm going to pop a couple heart ephemera pieces. You get a ton of ephemera pieces. Um, like I said, definitely go to the website, the link, and check it out, or watch the haul video. Did I take them out for the haul video? I don't remember if I did or not, but I do show up up close pictures of them. For card nine, this yellow card panel, card base, excuse me, is another one I just mentioned from the Stampin' Up! pack I got and thankfully used up. This heart die is definitely from Lawn Fawn. I know that. I thought it'd be cute to have it kind of off-center I love this little mailbox. I had to use it. Of course, the pattern paper behind in the background matches perfectly. Just a little love note. So cute. Go ahead. And like this thing of enamel dots is from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I think I cleaned off two sheets of enamel dots, which was great. So my final card is probably my favorite. I brought in one of the another one of those doilies because it matches perfectly the color. Cut, I cut it in half and just use the bottom portion and I'm going to go and put my music sheet together. And then for this one I had two of the doodle pops, the little tapes. Oh my god, they're so cute. And I love the color scheme. The background pattern paper is perfect. This is my favorite card of all the 10. And I really enjoyed all the 10. I do like the first one as well. And then I have that little XO with the wings. I think I attempted to see if that would go somewhere, but I think I decided against it because I didn't want to cover up anything. What I love most about this card is the pops of pink, but then the three-dimensional tapes. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this card making process with the Doodlebug Love Notes. Please let me know what your favorite card was. I always enjoy hearing what you guys like. Um, and if you're interested in any of the products, the links will be below. If you do go to Jamie's shop and get any of the products, don't forget to use Crazy Paper Chick to save 10%. And thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.